Hi guys, this is Abby Eagle and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the pen tool in Photoshop. So you start with the pen tool. Up here you just make sure you go for path. You click and you'll get a black square anchor point. Click again. This one goes open. This one's black. You keep clicking around. And then you put your um, cursor over this one, it turns to zero, which indicates it's going to close the loop. And there you are. So then if you go from layers to paths over here, you'll see there's your, your work path. But it doesn't yet show up as a layer. So what we do is we go up here to layer, new fill layer, say, solid color just choose say gray okay it opens up the um, color picker just choose anything okay and there you are now you have a new um, a new layer okay so now we take our pen tool we have the pen tool come up here this time we're going to select shape and then you get your star and now we start drawing and you can see that this time there's actually a stroke because now we've got the shape menu up here and we can deselect or select the stroke, change the color to black and you can give the stroke a width of course, Let's go back to five points and then you can actually give it a, a fill. And then we come back down here and we complete the shape. So that's actually already a shape, which you can then, if you wanted to, oh, sorry, down here, direct selection tool, click on it once to get the nodes, and then you could pull it out and change the, the shape, all right? So now, we're, if we stay on that, sh on that layer there, and then we go up to our pen tool, then once again, it, all, it has those same attributes, okay? Okay, so now what we do, let's pull down a, a line down here. We go back to our pen tool, got our pen tool, make sure this time you've got the path selected, you get your star, make a point, make another point, then the, this time you hold the um, mouse, you drag it across to get your adjustment handle or your, your bezier tool, you press the shift, it'll straighten out the handle and the curve, let go of the mouse key, <coughs> there you are. Then let's just bring another line, another point down here, and like so, and then click and hold. There we go. Shift, hold the shift key to straighten it out, and then come back up here. It's not very even, but it doesn't matter. And there we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my little um, friend in to uh, keep an eye on things. So, bring my little cat in to watch. So, now we can use this sh shape thing here to do all sorts of interesting things. So, I thought what I'd very quickly do, because I want to uh, create a, a cartoon car. So, if we start out... Um, with the uh, ellipse tool, got the shape up here, and let's just draw a wheel, hold down the shift key, that'll do right for the tire. Um, let's give it a fill, make it black. All right, and then let's just do another one, just for the old. Hubcap, all right, 
that'll do, but maybe we just change it so it's grey, all right? And then what we need is the, uh, you don't really need this, but show ellipse tool, go here. So let's say this is gonna be the um, fender outline. So we don't need any, um, and then we go across to here. That's good, working. So, now if we transform controls, so let's say if we put a um, pull down some guidelines there. Are you watching Pussycat? You're watching. So, um, all right. So we don't need those transform controls. Okay, so now we go back over to here and we are going to take our pen tool, um, path, pen tool. And let's just go to here, it's just an exercise. Go to here, there, click up the top, um, move it across, but you see it's not quite perfect. And then we come around here, we get the next one, it's not quite perfect, right? And Pussycat says, well maybe it doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. Go to there, go to there, we close it, and then we come up a layer, what is it, new film layer, solid colour, colour, grey, you know what, it just doesn't give it a colour picker. And there we are, all right? But you can see it's not quite perfect around here. So then if we just get rid of that, and this time we come back here, we've got the same pen tool path and we do this so we we start it here click 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 across up here do a little bit of curve if you want there and there And then we need to come back down to here. Direct selection tool. All right. To select it once again. Add anchor point. And we put one there. So you clicked and then you let go of the mouse and then you click it again and you drag it up. Right, like so. And then find, say, the middle, click, make the anchor point, let go, then pull it out. And then you can see this one here. Let's put one in the middle there, click, let go, pull out. That's pretty good. Come over to here, click, let go, pull it out. Uh, watching Pussycat, bang. All right, that's not quite perfect there, but that's good enough. Um, knock it down a bit. And then let's go get our layer, new fill layer. Solid color, color, gray. All right, pussycat. What color should we do this one? Blue, that'll do. All right, okay. Bang. And then we take her, which one was it? Remember which one? There we are. So now, and then if we take our move tool, so there we are. And if we can just find the original work path. So let's just move out these guidelines out of the way. 
And there we are. So I hope this has actually um, been useful to you. Um, if you've got any feedback, like, you know, just leave it in the uh, comments box below. And remember to keep challenging everything for the truth.